But I'm, I'm with Gab. Other things being even, I don't think the Glazers want to let go of Ole, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. As we discussed yesterday, I think the only thing that moves this needle, and maybe we got a hint of it yesterday, is Cristiano Ronaldo growing more and more frustrated with the poor performances. If he starts acting up, yeah. then all of a sudden, I think you can see the dominoes start to fall. The, 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 on, the, on, the only let's go back to that statement that a phrase that Gab used. If they lose to Liverpool, it was expected anyway. The only teams that should expect to lose to Liverpool are the absolute drivel and dross down the, near the bottom of the Premier League, right? Let, let's let's get that straight. You don't spend the money that they have and expect not to compete, right? The other side of the coin is here. Let's just cut to the chase, right? Whether the Glazers have the appetite to get rid of Solskjaer or not, I don't give a toss. <laughs> Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and I said it in his appointment, and I'll say it again, and somebody has to tell me the evidence of why this statement is wrong. He's out of his depth at this football club. There was nothing in his resume that suggested he could manage a juggernaut the size of Manchester United. Being everybody's friend... And being a nice guy is not a reason to manage Manchester United. Who would you have to replace him, Craig? Oh, my message is ringing me. I told her not to ring me. Cheryl, come on. God's <laughs> sake. Uh, well, look. Is, look, she, is look. she interested in the job? I thought that was very good. I don't think so. I, I don't think she'd. I tell, I tell you what's going to happen, though. I tell you what's going to happen, and I said this a few weeks ago on the show. And I, I do agree with the guys. I, I think there is a lack of appetite from the board to get rid of them. I, I do agree with that because this is the way they run the club. Might come down to Ronaldo. Probably going to come down to the fans. Some of those who are already starting to turn, you know, the usual. And you know I tweeted about this, this yesterday. This, this, and this is staggering. This is staggering that some say, well, Ferguson was given time. So why souls can not give and take? <laughs> if you can believe those two people are put in the same bracket, <laughs> then you need to give your head a severe wobble yeah. because one guy was already a super manager at, at the start. But here's what I think is going to happen, Dan. And I know you guys talked about it yesterday and I know you brought this up in a graphic today and yesterday, this run of games. I think, and he's done it before, what will happen is that they will get a thumping performance-wise from Liverpool, a thumping performance-wise from Man City and maybe others, but will sneak enough results on a counter-attack to make some of the uneducated go, oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe he is going to be okay. And I think he'll probably just do enough with this team to keep the wolves from the door. But, but seriously, long-term, th 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 these people are just barking at the moon. We had another question yesterday, Gab, which I'm also going to ask you. Conte or Zidane, who would be more likely to take over? Uh, Manchester United. Yes. Like, I mean, I, 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 I think Conte would drive himself to Old Trafford, right? He's desperately keen to come back uh, to the Premier League. And, and obviously Conte would come in and say, like, OK, but then we're going to spend a lot of money and the club are going to say yes and, and whatever. They take it. Zidane, I have no idea. I mean, he's like the, the great stone face. I don't know what goes through his mind um, and what his appetite is uh, to, 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 to come back. But, I mean, certainly, certainly if, if they want Conte, I'm sure Conte will happily talk to them and happily consider the job if, if, if it gets to that um, because he's made no secret of the fact that he hates being away from football and he, and he wants to get back into coaching. And he loves he loved his time in the Premier League. Would that be the right decision? And, 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 go on, and go here's ahead. and here's all right. Sorry, and here's the deal here. You know, we've talked about Conte. Sometimes it's a bit short term, and sometimes it's fiery and fiery. But even if it is short term at Man United, and I'm not suggesting if somebody let him come in, it would be, but it, but it, it could. But even if that is short term, that's a better short term solution than this solution at the moment. Mm. So I think from United's perspective, doing something like that until this main guy that they wanted long term come up, if that's the case, well, has to be a better way of doing it than, than sticking in, in, in the way they are. They talk about a project. This is a What, what is this project? This is project <laughs> disaster the, at the moment. The, I just don't get it. Go on, Gaff. No, you, you guys 
You guys mentioned Ronaldo. Uh, the thing to remember is Ronaldo signed a two-year deal. He's arrived there. I think, you know, Ronaldo will always get his goals no matter how badly uh, the team plays. He scored a ton of goals on, uh, on, on some pretty underachieving Juve sides in, in the last couple of years. Um, but I think what's most galling is that Ronaldo arrived. He's still playing at center forward. We said that if you're going to play Cristiano at center forward, uh, something you know he really hasn't done in a very long time, uh, you need to have a plan around him. There is no plan. There is no custom-made Cristiano plan for him to play center forward. It's got knock-on effects because obviously it's difficult to press in a certain way. If Cristiano's playing up, up front, he doesn't get the service that he necessarily wants. Um, but but we all we saw all of this coming. And the signs on the club, I think it was just last week, you know, they extended Mike Phelan's contract, who's, who's one of, obviously, uh, Ole's, one of Ole's senior assistants. So I think that tells you that, you know, at least on high, they don't see any sort of problem in the way things are going. They, they've, only got to look, they've only got to look at Thomas Frank at, at Brentford to see. And I know they have a recruitment policy down there at Brentford, and I know they use data, and I know they do all this other stuff, but you've still got to to use the old-fashioned scouting system as well. But I think you've just got to look at what he's done and how he's gone about it to see what proper coaching is all about. Let's not forget, before they were promoted, the year before when they failed to come up, they lost their two best players, Brentford and Watkins and Ben Rama. But yet they still come back for more. They got promoted again under Thomas Frank. And we've seen from them in the Premier League, and we saw from them again yesterday in defeat. They should have beaten Chelsea. Mm. They, they have a plan, they have a purpose, and... Their backside is coached out of them. I mean, that's just th these players yeah. are listening to the coach. They're I, going out there and they're trying their best. What United have is a bunch of guys who just go out and, and somebody has to tell me what their plan is. Quickly, Gab. No, just quickly. Most thing, most people agree that they, they they should have signed a central midfielder this summer. That they, they still need one. Pogba's got that contract sitting there. He's he's. He's out of contract. He's a free agent in June. If he goes, you're going to have to sign two central midfielders. The money is there. The question is, who's going to make that decision mm. for what kind of manager? I think that's going to play into it as well as, as the weeks tick by if the situation doesn't improve for Solskjaer. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.